Hi guys, Dean Island of Man here, and with the iPhone 5 jailbroken, I've managed to get all my favourite tweaks back on my device, so I thought I'd bring you my top Cydia tweaks video. So let's roll the intro, and let's have a look what Cydia tweaks I love the most. So my first Cydia tweak has to be something called Lock info and that's my case turning down my volume just there so if we go into settings and you should be able to see lock info just here so what lock info does it provides you a multiple versions of different things that you can display on your lock screen or in your notification bar so i can change out the layout the appearance the screens dimming what to tap on launch um, and then a number of different things i can put a silent switch in the status bar if i wanted to so I know it's on silent without looking. I can have push notifications um, on the top and then a number of different things. Now, you can see that it's somebody's birthday tomorrow and then I can have also a number of different things showing, different widgets as well showing and the notification binder, which I don't use too much of. However, I do like the lock screen part. So it looks pretty normal here. But if I pull this bar down, I can have different things going on. So I can have my weather, which is fully functional. I can then have NC settings, so I can quickly turn Bluetooth on and on. I can have a list of the favourite people that I call most often, so my wife, my daughter, my dad, my mom, and then friends and family. I can then also have my Twitter feed in here. So there's Dave from Deaconoise considering a new 27-inch iMac if only the shipping time would improve, he says. And then a number of other different people. So Charlie Sakor like says, Today I fell off a plane and survived. And yes, he did get it on camera. So I'm sure there'll be a video from him soon. So I can see all the Twitter feed for myself and the Phoenix Tech one. I can see my feed, my mentions, and also a number of different things. And then I can also tweet straight from there as well if I wanted to. But what else this does, it organises all of my different notifications. So if I get a text message, it will pop up here and I can see it straight away. And I can arrange them. Instead of having a whole list of notifications, I can just pick which ones I want to see. My next favourite one has to be NC settings. So if we go in here again and then go into NC settings, basically NC settings provides this little bar here which has got all your different settings. It's a set, bit different from SB settings. So I can have power functions, Wi-Fi, um, airplane mode, Bluetooth. It also comes with a flashlight, private browsing, and then also I can have my personal Wi-Fi hotspot in there as well. If we head over, you'll be able to see that it's got a number of toggles. So all these different toggles you can have in there. You can have a different theme, what happens to your volume, um, vibrate, text to toggle, so you could see it changing in there, how many icons I want in portrait and landscape mode, and then to reset. So absolutely great toggle in there as well. My next one has to be Flux, and this is Flux here. And basically what Flux does, it changes the light during the day, so it's not that really a luminous light at night or daytime. So for older devices you can incorporate long transitions on or off and then on or off for colour sensitive work enabled as well. So basically it gives you a icon. So if I click flux just there it knows my location so it knows where I am in the UK and then I can adjust the type here. So at night I can have it go down to this kind of almost goes a yellowy colour which is really strange to start with but it gets really really nice at night time it saves this like imposing bright light in your face if you're trying to read and you can also change it during the day and it tells you so that's halogen fluorescent midday sun iOS default and it tells you the K so you can preview it as well and then you can also disable flux. And then it says sun set in two hours. 
so that will then diminish to that 3400k luminosity so it just helps with the kind of brightness at night my next favorite one and i hadn't started using it till my iphone 5 got jailbroken is zypher so what zypher does it allows you to do a number of different things so i can launch also by just swiping up or down and then if I go into settings I can then move through my icons by just swiping across and then swiping across and swiping across so really really nice Zypher works incredibly well then also now if you don't know about also what it does it provides you with a multitasking bar but it gives you live previews so on here you can see I've opened settings by SMS weather my Fitbit application and then what else it provides you is if you want to get rid of one so Twitter I'm gonna get rid of just swipe down and then it's closed moves the next one and swipe that down so on if I hold this down so if I hold one of them down get this message do you want to remove all from the multitask inquiry yes I can then also get my media player icons which is a lot better I can adjust the volume here and then play and pause it tells me the name of the track also the album that it's on as well and who's the artist is and then I can have different other settings so I've got settings for airplay my brightness and then these different toggles which you can have a number of different one in so also is a very very well implemented multitasking tray and then my last but not least blurred NC background now blurred NC background gives you this kind of blurred feature so you can you can see through it, but there is still a blur there and if we go in I can turn it on and off I can turn the grade and um, the radius of the blur I can change the blur color so I can now have it blue if I wanted to or red magenta so on and so forth I like to have it as a white I think it looks nice and clean so almost and then the opacity as well so I can have it all white e, not all white some are blue and then I can have exceptions when locked as well so those are my favorite jailbreak tweaks for the iPhone 5 very very decent and it just makes my device look how I want it to there are a number of others that I use in there activator and barrel very nice you know NC settings pages power music and um, Zypher so on and so forth but those are my favorite ones that I have to have on my device so thanks very much for watching and we will catch you real soon in the next one